interrupt our 1899 coverage to bring you breaking news. There has been accusations of plagiarism to 1899 and Netflix. Over the last 24 hours, it's been trending on Twitter that Mary Cagnan, a Brazilian comic book artist, has accused 1899 of plagiarism. In 2016, she wrote a comic book called Black Silence, and a lot of people think there's a lot of similarities. So I'm here to tell you. I've read the comic book in its entirety. I've watched 1899 in its entirety. Well, season one anyway. And I'm going to talk about the differences and similarities and see, is there a case for plagiarism here? I will say straight away, I am a big fan of the creators of Dark, and this is their new show, 1899. In the past, I know they've turned down the chance to even do their own work again. So the idea that they would copy someone else is quite far-fetched to me, to be honest with you. But you never know. If you want to consume both things before you hear my opinion or before you give your opinion yourself, the link to Black Silence English Edition will be in the comments. That's where I read it. Obviously, 1899 can be found on Netflix. So watch them both. Draw your own conclusions. I'm going to give my conclusions here. Um, I'm not saying that Mary Cagnan shouldn't go for legal action if she truly believes that there is plagiarism here. Of course, go ahead. The courts will sort it out. But I would like to give my opinion because I think there's actually some stuff to talk about here. Also, another proviso before I start. All of the tweets are in Portuguese. I do not speak Portuguese. I'm trusting Twitter's translation system. And of course, with who's in charge of Twitter these days, I never know what's going to happen. So if anyone who can speak Portuguese is watching uh, this video, if you'd like to correct me on any of my the, the, the translations that have been done, please be my guest. I'm happy to correct the record at any time. I can even put a uh, pin your comment if you correct me. I'm going to try and be as fair as possible, even though I love these creators. Okay, I'm going to try and put that aside. I'm going to try. And I also will say that I understand if you've written something and you're sitting and watching a show which you do actually genuinely believe has taken ideas from you, I understand that that can be very emotional and even you could feel robbed. Okay, so I understand Mary Cagnan on Twitter getting quite um, sort of passionate about it. I completely understand it. So bearing that in mind, let's get into it. First thing I want to say is that there is a difference between plagiarize and copy in my opinion. Plagiarize is like a legal thing that you don't even have to know that you're doing it to do it. If you're inspired by something and then it feeds into your work, technically you can be guilty of plagiarism. I understand that. People on Reddit have been yelling that at me today, even though that's not the point I'm making. I want to know, did they intentionally copy? Because in Mary Cagnan's words herself, she used the word copy. Now that is a translation thing, so Portuguese people, please help me out there. But she did use the word copy. And for me, the word copy implies a bit more than plagiarism. It implies that there has been an intentional copying. For example, if we're doing an exam, right, and uh, two people get the same answer, then, you know, if they're sitting in different rooms, but they get the same answer in a maths exam, for example, did they copy each other? I'm not sure. If one person's looking over at the other exam and then they get the same answer, that's copying for me. So the, the, the question of what does the word copy mean? I think copy implies intent. So the first one, and there is uh, at Mary Cagnan, just Mary on Twitter is the handle. Um, and as you can see, the Portuguese at the top and the, uh, and the English at the bottom, the translation. I am in shock. The day I found out, now this will be a little strange, the translation, as I said. The day I found out that 1899's series is just identical to my comic book, Black Silence, published in 2016. Now, let me know if this translation is wrong. Because saying found out kind of implies to me that someone has messaged Mary Cagnan and said, this show is, is the same as your comic book. I would like to actually know, and I'll ask Mary Cagnan if, uh, if, if this can get to her. I would actually really like to know, has Mary Cagnan actually watched the whole show? That's the first thing I want to know. Uh, because taking other people's word for it being plagiari plagiarism... Taking other people's word for it being... Because taking other people's word for it being plagiarism, for me, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I sit well with that. You should really go it yourself. But anyway, that could be the translation issue. Let's take it at face value. Let's say Mary Cagnan has watched the whole show and still believes. So I will give the benefit of the, of the doubt there. So obviously the first thing we can, this is, the big, this is the big thing. And this is the reason I think why it's being shared so much. This is the, the big punch image, okay? The two big black pyramids. Of course, of course, these two images look the same. Of course, they look similar. Okay, so that imagery there of the big black pyramid, that is the reason these have been sent around. And you know what? Looking at those two, I'm thinking to myself, this looks like a live action version of that comic book. In those two images, I, I'm going to be completely honest with you, it looks the same. Okay, it looks like the same concept. 
Now, that's why, in my opinion, this has gained so much traction, because this actually is a striking image when you look at it. Now, let's continue on with the tweets, because I don't want to give any of my actual differences, similarities and stuff till the end. I want to give all the tweets first. So then we have, um, it's all there. The Black Pyramid, the deaths inside the ship, the multinational crew, the apparently strange and unexplained things, the symbols in the eyes, and when they appear, um, when they appear, codes written, the voices calling to them, subtle plot details, such as characters' personal dramas, including their mysterious deaths. Okay, so we can see here, triangle in the eyes. Um, again, uh, I'll get into the differences and the details, but again, that is another striking image, triangles in the eyes. So you've got the pyramids, and you've got triangles in the eyes. Me, myself, when I first saw this, I have to admit my bias, I did think to myself, well, they sort of, surely they go hand in hand, okay? So like I can imagine if someone came up with the idea of having a black pyramid being very integral to their story, it's not that far of a leap to me to the idea, especially the theme in 1899, that they would want to portray a triangle eye. Okay, that's that's not that's not too far uh, for me to, to to sort of see those two things as linked. So it's the triangle sim symbolism with the, the the express use of a pyramid, black pyramid, and the eyes is the main issue here for me. Uh, all the other stuff I'll talk about in a minute uh, in terms of the depths inside the ship and so on, okay? But these two first images, so for the um, the pyramids and the eyes, don't get me wrong. If you don't do any digging past this point, this looks damning. It does, okay? So this looks damning uh, to 1899. It really does look like there has there's something going on here. And I understand, I really do understand uh, when Mary Cagnan saw this, um, why she would be uh, upset. I really do, I really get it, okay? So then says codes written, voices calling to them, subtle plot details such as the characters' personal dramas, including their mysterious deaths. So this obviously quite vague things she's saying here, but if these are all hidden, then potentially we could be looking at a case of plagiarism here. Okay? So again, I can understand everything she's saying here, why someone on Twitter would be like, yep, 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 share, makes complete sense. I understand if this is how Mary truly feels, I understand why she's um, she's making these claims. So, I've been on panels and distributed the Black Silence comic book to countless publishers and people in the business. It's not hard to imagine my work reaching out to them. I, only I not only delivered the physical comic, but also made translation version available in English. So there you go. So she's saying that she has been to Europe uh, to talk at conferences about the, the work. I don't know how much the work sold around the world. I'm not sure the numbers. I'm, you know, I don't know about that. This particular... Uh, speech at the very top right there where she's uh, talking is in Stockholm. Um, potentially she's been in Germany too. I, I would assume she has if she's making these strong claims. Uh, so there you go. So it is a, it is a work that p potentially the creators of, of 1899 could have access to. Again, a strong point from Mary, a strong point. Then, I've cried a lot. My dream has always been to be recognized for my work nationally and internationally. And to see such a thing happen really breaks my heart. We know that in Brazil, we have few opportunities to show our work and be recognized for it. Now, this is a company with a picture. And this is the first point where I'm going to say, I think this is a bit in, uh, disingenuous for Mary. I, I do. Okay. Now, this particular shot, now, obviously, spoilers 1899, is at the end of season one, we've got um, uh, Mora being woken up from the simulation. Okay. Underneath that, we have a picture from Mary's, which is the main character... From what I understand, okay, from I read the I read the story, so correct me if I'm wrong, but they, they talk about the idea of going going in a uh, it's almost like like long how would you say it going into like a sleep to to travel long distances in space like that's what it is like for example in Avatar they do it in Avatar so you go you go into like a long sleep to to travel in space that's that's what the character in in the in the comic book is doing so it's it's not like she's waking up from a simulation or it's like she's plugged into the Matrix. Um, it, it that's that's a little bit disingenuous for me, okay. But side by side, they look similar. They look the same, okay. So that's what. So that's it's another striking image for a Twitter 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 thread. But for me, uh, the actual context of this is very different, and and to be honest with you, to the point where it should even have been included for me. To be honest with you, um, okay. So then Mary says, I had the opportunity that many comic book artists never had to show people show my work to an international audience people i gave lectures talked about the plot i presented it to influential people in the area 
the business is serious. Now, if I didn't know these creators, right? And I and I thought that this was uh, idea conceived by Netflix and Netflix alone, not these particular creators who then would have went to Netflix to say, here, we, we've got this idea. Then I, I would believe that Netflix would take this idea. I, I believe if someone from Netflix saw something and said, oh, triangle eyes, that's really cool. We should do something with that. Or like big black pyramid, yeah. The difference is that these creators in the past have said no to Netflix and, and Netflix have given them free reign. So they are creating everything they do. And I, maybe it's a bit fanboyish of me to say, and I'm sure it is very fanboyish of me to say, I just can't see it. I can't see them, I can't see them doing that. Having said that, I could see Netflix doing it, okay? So if, if you aren't if you aren't very familiar with like Dark and the, and the, and the people who are behind Dark and, the, and, and like the integrity of these, fil of these filmmakers, then I can fully see where this would come from. I, if you see these images, I fully get it. Um, and again, bias uh, fanboy over here. Okay, so then it says, obviously Black Silence is a short work, almost uh, a short story. It is very easy in 12 hours of projection of the series to dilute these references, but the, es the essence of what is created is there. Um, okay. So anyone who wants can read my comic, there's the, the plug, which I think is very essential actually. So people might criticize Mary for that and might say, well, there you go, there it is. People, she just wants people to read her book. But at the same time, I think if you genuinely believe these, these, these claims, I do actually think that that uh, is essential to give people a place to read the, read the book. And I read it for free. I found it on Google for free. So, um, you know, I'd be up for buying it if it was, it was the English physical copy because I actually did actually quite enjoy it. So I would be up for buying it. So uh, hopefully I'll, I'll have a look to see if there's an English uh, copy. Um, but but yeah, so it's good to have the ability to compare yourself. And then it says, we cannot think of just because we are Brazilians, we should accept this kind of disdain and indifference. We have countless cases of gringos copying us in movies, series, and songs as in the case of the, movie, of the movie The Adventures of Pi, which was copied from a Brazilian book. Okay, so this is where it starts to take a bit of a turn for me. Obviously, I'm not gonna comment on the use of the word gringos. I am not from Brazil, I don't understand that. Maybe that's just how you say Westerners. We'll just, we'll take it on face value and we'll not, we'll not be offended or we'll not, we'll not get into that, okay? But what I'll say is, is that the, the reference of like the disdain and indifference, this for me takes it past the idea of assuming or like, implying that it's there's no intent so plagiarism can exist with no intent but i think this tweet here in particular makes it so very much intent is being implied intent to steal or to copy um the the adventures of pi uh the life of pi or the adventures of pi or whatever um the author of that did already admit to like this the reason why there was a whole hoo-ha about that is because the author came out and said i really like this uh this brazilian book i was heavily influenced by it so basically, they just came out and said, yeah, okay, I committed plagiarism. That's not what, like, if you're saying that this is similar to that case, then you are then you are saying that you think the creators of, the, of 1899 intentionally copied it. And that's where I have an issue. I don't think there was any intentional copies here. Um, okay. Then she says, I'm tired of crying. Thank you to everyone who has read this so far. To all my readers and for all the support I receive. Countless people in the Instagram box commenting on the similarities. I see the procedures I should take if there's anything that can be done. So potential legal action here. And if she thinks she's uh, worthy of it, if, if she thinks that the similarities are worthy of it, then fair enough, fill your boots. I think if you genuinely believe that, that's probably a good good idea because then the courts will sort it out. So um, no, no issues with that at all. Um, now, I do have maybe a slight issue with the level to which this has blown up considering the differences and similarities I'm going to talk about. Because I think the, obviously the vast majority of people who are sharing this haven't probably watched the show in its entirety or or read the comic. So that's my assumption. But what, like, what are the chances that this sm really small comic book writer um, has all of a sudden doubled in Twitter followers in a day or three days or whatever it is? And then I, actually, I, I, they, there was an increase, but I, did, I don't know the exact uh, fra like ratio of... of, of um, of increase so don't hold me that sorry sorry if i'm misrepresenting that but um but i don't think it's possible that all of these people who are sharing it and stuff already read the book and watched the show i just i just don't think that's possible so the last thing she says well not, I, this is out of order because i thought it would make better uh sequence for the video guys please anyone who has watched the series and read the comic can you please help me with a collection of similarities it would help me a lot later i will ask for your help so that the matter reaches the media okay so she wants it to reach the media she really feels strongly about this 
So I'm going to help her out. I'm going to go through the similarities and I'm going to go through the differences um, and I'm going to sort of lay it on the table. I've read the comic, I've watched the show. Let's get on with it. Just before I go through the similarities and differences, let me just actually give a little rundown of what Mary's story is. So if you, if you want to go read it, go read it. Spoiler alert. So basically it's about a, you know, biologist, ev evolution doctor, um, who is, they're trying to find a new world to inhabit and to go and test. It's a bit like Interstellar, okay? So they're going, they're going to go and find a, a new planet to inhabit. And a crew, um, when they get there, they discover a big black pyramid. Um, and what happens is as they get close to it or you know, as time goes on, they spend time there doing their experiments to see if they can live on the planet. Um, they, a couple of characters become like infected, I suppose, from the, from the pyramid. Their eyes turn triangle and they commit suicide. Um, and there's other, you know, and so basically also one of them is, it, it sort of implies that they're going to go mad and go crazy. And then, uh, the captain has to put them down. So they have to shoot them. And that's, that's sort of the end of it. Um, that's basically the whole story. It's very short, very short, but it's, 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 it's basically like a expanse style, interstellar style space, um, exploration story, uh, with some weird goings on. That's that's what it is. So just before we get into the similarities and differences, I thought I'd lay out what the actual story is. So that's what it is. So start off here. The Black Pyramid, obviously similarity. Okay, nothing more to be said. The deaths inside the ship. People die. Okay. The multinational crew. Well, okay, this one is interesting because the plot, no, the, sorry, the, the genre of her story is very much a space exploration uh, story. I've not seen many space exploration stories without a multinational crew on the spaceship. Okay, so in 1899, the fact that it was a multinational crew was literally one of the selling points of the show. They were inspired by the idea of Brexit and um, differences and people being torn apart through these ideologies. So... Yes, it is true that both crews have different nationalities. Um, it's it wasn't a it wasn't like a massive point in 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 Black Silence. It was it was just the fact is in this genre, you have people representing Earth, and therefore they're all from different nationalities. Like I've seen that in almost all space exploration stories. Okay, so you know that's just my feelings on that. The apparently strange and unexplained things. Uh, that one, to be honest with you, is so vague. I'm not even going to talk about it. Uh, what does that, what does that even mean? Um, vague and unexplained things. Just like having something in your story which is thought provoking is plagiarism. Uh, I'm not sure. The the, the little un unexplained things uh, aren't too similar. The symbols in the eyes and when they appear. So the symbols in the eyes, again, they are like the actual look of them looks quite similar. One thing I will say is that the eyes. Let me just go back to it if I can. The eyes, obviously the triangles are the wrong way around. That's the first thing. Um, obviously the triangles in 1899 are mimicking the Earth symbol, which is big in the show. And the triangles, uh, the other way around, in the, in the, um, the triangles in Mary's, in Mary's uh, comic, are uh, like, you know, point, point up. But also it's not, it's not, doesn't seem to be the pupils. It's actually just white light. Although that might just be the art style. So we'll, we'll go say it's pupils. But the triangles, similarity. The only thing I will say, the way the triangles are different is in 1899, the triangles were mainly just for promotional things on the poster. Uh, the only time they ever have triangles in their eyes in the show is whenever um, is whenever they have uh, um, sort of they're going in and out, or so they're waking up. You know, it's sort of like a, it's sort of a stylistic thing. It's not it's not anything. Whereas in the plot of uh, Mary's, they literally have. Um, uh, triangles in their eyes when they sort of go into a trance-like state, when they're going to attack, or they're going to um, commit suicide, something like that. Okay, so that's sort of where it goes there. Um, codes written, the codes written. To be honest with you, is again another red herring there from from Mary. Um, the code she's referring to in, I, I believe, in her book, is that there's a there's like a, a rule number, like you know, for, like in Star Wars, there's like Order sixty six. Well, I can't remember the actual numbers, but it's like one four six three or something. Uh, and and if you say that, then you have to like it's it's like an order, like, like you know it's a, it's it's a it's a military order. It's not like the codes in eighteen ninety nine, which are there 
to like sort of give him hitting meetings and we to be honest we still don't know what they mean they're just like sort of there all the time um they're sort of ubiquitous within the show nothing nothing like uh black silence and then uh voices calling to them um so we have like you know nightmarish situations where you can hear your family in 1899 and we also have people going into a trance-like state and walking off the side of the boat right so that's but there's no like we don't know if it's a voice calling to them doing that but i will say um there is something similar which i get to my similarities in a minute uh you'll see and i want to be completely honest here uh subtle plot details such as characters personal dramas i think i know what that's referring to which again i'll talk to in a minute but but there's yeah so we'll see and then including mysterious deaths well to be honest with you mysterious deaths i don't really know like obviously yes they're dying in a sort of mysterious way in both in both and they both involve suicide in some regard so yeah there might be something there but anyway so the main similarities are let's go through them one by one pyramids we've talked about that that could you know there are a lot of pyramids in the world okay pyramids have been used in everything pyramid spaceships uh like in the film oblivion there's a pyramid spaceship um the idea of having a black pyramid to me um i'm surprised i haven't seen it more i, I don't like you know in fact the, like to me it, okay so it, it sort of comes across to me in uh, mary's work that it's quite similar to the film on the show the expanse where like uh the um the uh, crew members are like exploring the proto molecule and it's it's affecting them in weird ways and making them do uh strange things that's what mary's story is like so if you've seen the expanse you know what mary's story is basically that's it's like season four of the expanse when they're going and doing experiments on 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 the obelisks or whatever you call them okay so that's that's what mary's story is if you've seen 1899 you know that that's nothing what 1899 is it's nowhere near it's nothing okay so there we go um similarities okay the eyes I, this is again this is a long video i'm gonna hurry up sorry guys um but i thought i wanted to give this time because I don't take these accusations uh, lightly, and I, I didn't want to. Uh, I'm speaking for the show now. I am eight to nine, nine, no. But I, I didn't want to just brush over it as if you know, say you know, say Mary has no point. I don't want to do that. I want to be respectful to both sides. Um, so space. Um, obviously, eight nine nine doesn't fully take part in space yet, but there is the, the hint of it at the very end. So you know, that suppose I suppose that's a that's a similarity, but then you know lots of films take place in space uh you have um now i put sabi here because i didn't really want to write the word suicide but uh suicide after being infected okay so that's another thing so there's like one or two characters in mary's book uh which which uh seemingly seemingly commit suicide after being infected by the um but by, by by this strange uh pyramid okay uh so in 1899 like we do have characters who just walk off the side of a ship um so yeah that like that is a similarity and then the last one is like a sibling it's mentioned that one of the main characters is like is, has a sibling that's long long missing uh obviously in 1899 we hear about kieran who's uh maura's brother long missing so that's another similarity but in in uh in black silence it doesn't really go anywhere in 1899 i'm assuming it does like so we meet that sibling and it's going to become a huge plot point but i wanted to be fair and say that that is a similarity and like that's all the similarities for me that's 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 it like there's in terms of the actual plot not much similarity there um in terms of in, in terms of um the characters in general no it, for me it just comes down to symbolism i think if the pyramid and the eyes weren't there there would be not much to say i'm going to be honest with you um but the pyramid eyes are there so there is a conversation to be had i personally don't think it amounts to plagiarism i you know i understand even like even one image being the same and if it's copied or if it's plagiarized fair enough i the shows are very very the show and the book are very very different very very different to the point where like i can't explain i can't i can't reiterate it enough mary's book is basically the expanse i'm not i'm not accusing her of plagiarism because no you know i think i think that you know there's there is space for slightly different takes on the same idea but the idea of going and finding new worlds and then coming across a big black sort of unexplained structure and then doing experiments and then crazy things happen whenever you get too close to it i mean that is the expanse 
I'm, I'm not going to beat around a bush here. And I didn't start off this video thinking, let's accuse uh, Mary of plagiarism, because that's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying that if you take small details of stories and you amplify them up and say this is this is the same as something else then 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 you can say anything's a copy of anything um yes there are similarities here yes i'm sure mary feels like they have taken something from her here i don't think so i think the things that are the same are the same through coincidence that's my personal belief um i think that you know there's more in common with 1899 and the matrix for example than there is with mary's story i think you know it, yeah I, basically i've went over this multiple times but yes i respect mary for her for her feelings if, if i if mary has watched the show fully and believes this then then that's what we have um plagiarism laws for so she can challenge it like that's that's the whole that's the whole point of them you know so uh, i encourage that to happen if she genuinely believes it but i i personally having consumed both products I cannot stand. Uh, I cannot say with uh, with my hand on my heart that I believe 1899 has plagiarized Black Silence. I truly, truly cannot. Um, and if you want to find out for yourself, I guess as, as I said, link in the description. And 1899 can be found on Netflix. Right. I have, with a free conscience now, can go back to writing videos and making podcasts about 1899 because I don't believe, genuinely don't believe, that there is any plagiarism here. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.